Well, they can't be held to anything. That's the thing. It's, it's like it's like the United Nations. I mean, the, if you don't you don't have the power to coerce anybody to do anything, and in my view, nor should you online. Um, there are things called, um, I mean, standards and and and, and uh, evolve through experimentation. And my own view is simply that uh, there are some very basic. Rules, very simple rules that that that, conduct, that that apply to all writing in a way, which is, don't lie. Uh, if you're wrong, correct. Um, do not misrepresent. Uh, and try and keep oneself intellectually honest, which means, as a writer, the very difficult task uh, in public of admitting you were wrong. Uh, I mean, obviously, one should try as much as one possibly can, not to be wrong, not to get things wrong. Uh, I'm actually quite proud, no, very proud of the fact that the, 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 the dish has very rarely made any serious factual errors. We may have made errors of judgment or of opinion, and I may have uh, occasionally popped off when I probably should not have done. Um, but even in really, really, really sort of dangerous territory, um, I don't think I've, anybody's caught me stating something that's untrue, un unless it's by accident uh, or mistake in which it has been corrected. So, look, that is, that's the only stand you have. There is no, there's no way to police that, nor should there be, except by readers uh, figuring out who's honest and who isn't. That's how reputations emerge. The New York Times did not become the New York Times overnight. It, it had to earn its reputation day by day. And I think you earn your reputation for uh, honesty and, and uh, uh, integrity literally hour by hour, uh, and taste for that matter. As for taste, um, <laughs> uh, what I love about the internet and what I try and do on the day dish is, is insist upon the ability to have bad taste if one wants. Uh, I mean, we, the dish is a, is a rare blog in as much as it will have discussions of Rorty and uh, Oakshot and Leo Strauss, along with, um, you know, uh, the uh, that great uh, their rape your kids mashup <laughs> and order tuning. But I actually think that that's the world most grown up, intelligent people of my generation and below belong in. We we see no contradiction between uh, South Park clips and uh, discussions of of theodicy. I don't believe in those. I don't believe in those categories. Never have. I'm a high-low kind of guy, um, and uh, and I also believe that English language is is robust enough to use good old Anglo-Saxon words instead of these uh, ridiculous circumlocutions you'll find in, in the in the in you know in, in established old-fashioned journalism. So I still cherish the fact that even in the Atlantic Monthly, uh, I think sometimes the consternation of of, of some people, um, you know, I can say the word fuck, and uh, they can't stop me. And I still have enough of an adolescent streak to be kind of uh, happy about that. That's why I get along so well with the South Park dudes, because um, I think they, have a th they get a thrill out of that, too, um, pushing, pushing, pushing the envelope of what we can say and what we're allowed to talk about. Mm -hmm.